here's Josh. Yeah, I recognise Josh now. Howdy, partner. You both seem down on your luck. Did a jackal a jackalope bite you through your boot or something? <laughs> I'm only up in your leg. Huck, uh, Huck shot me a message filling me in on what's happened. Uh, Huck and I are actually second cousins once removed. I may be all alone on Jobbik, but back in Wyoming and Canada, I've got relatives for days. Our family reunions can fill an entire horse pasture. Anyway, that's beside the point. That Willy Dog Scott Butterscot that wily dog Scott Buttergoods got a hold of a Jorvik wild horse, huh? What a crying shame. But I think I have just a trick up my sleeve. Sounds like you need to break a wild horse free. If I distract distract Buttergood, Gary waits in a place to escape with the horses. Olivia can lead let Cedar loose. That that sucker will never see it coming. Oh Huck, if you only if only you paid attention to what I said. I warmed him about Buttergood's ways, but listening to me isn't my cousin's strong suit. He saw the cowboy hat and boots and thought Scott was a fellow rancher. So how does that sound? Everyone okay with the plan? Yeah, let's do it. That's the spirit. Cedar, we're coming to get ya. Um, if we can get Cedar out of the clutches of the Scott, that's all that matters to me. Yes, good. Pa! I almost sound like your horse was trying to speak there, Gary. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Cedar won't be in trouble much longer. <laughs> Ash nearly uh, let go of a secret there. Alright, ready. Hey, bloodsucker. You, boy, what are you gonna do? Drop another glitter bomb on me? Not quite. I got a bone to pick with you. Your cowboy boots. I don't think they're genuine. Draw current cara leather. What in tarnation? How dare you? So he's extremely distracted by his boots because he has to have the best boots. So let's, yeah, jump off. Good, good, good. And let's sneak. Sneak. How do I sneak? I can't remember. Let's walk. Uh, there we go. Come on. Well, Cedar looks scared but relieved to see you. Cedar, the door shut. That's fine. Come on. Cedar looks at you trembling but understands what you want to say. Okay, we're leading. Come on. Okay, we're leading him away. Come on, Cedar. Hurry. Come on. Yes, look at him. He's so cute. He's jogging. Doing a jog. Come on, Cedar. This way, buddy. You'll be safe. You'll be safe. Oh, bless him. Come on. Come on. Um. Aha. There they are. And that's why my cowboy boots are the gosh darn finest this side of the island, you sh tender tenderfoot. If you say so, but a bad, my work here is done anyway. Get now I can finally get back to that horse. Uh, to getting that horse back to my pup. Uh, who in tarnation stole my horse? Ride like the wind, Gary and Livia. Yeehaw! All right. Let's uh, get this horse back to Wild Woods, I think. It sounds like Scott caught on. We better get out here fast. I hope you're all ready to gallop your hooves out. We have to get back to the Wild Woods before Buttercup catches. All right. Oh, it's a race. Oh my gosh. I'm not prepared for this. Okay. All right. Let's run. Let's go. Oh my gosh, she's actually behind us. <gasps> no, this is stressful. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna... Wait. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, oh, I got it. I got it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, we're not the fastest horse. Like poor Green Eye. All this pressure. She's not the fastest horse. Uh, poor Sweetie. Okay. All right. I know where I'm going now. Uh, look for the green check. Look for the green check. There it is. Oh my gosh. It's all right. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Cedar needs to catch up. Alright. Come on. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. We're doing alright. Whoa. I nearly ran into a tree. Okay. It's alright. It's alright. I think, I think we're doing it. We're doing it. 
it's not. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Whoa. Okay, drop this log. No, there's a rock! <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everybody's following. Okay, Green Eye's doing better than I thought she would. So it's fine. It's all fine. Oh, like there's a plant. Did I get that? I got the moss. <laughs> That's that's really funny. We have um wait, wait, where am we going? This way. Okay. I was gonna say we have uh quite a lot of moss now. 52 moss. Wow, okay, it must be the most common one. Yeah, this way, this way, this way. Ooh, look at those lanterns. That's really cool. I think there's been lots of like tiny updates and details added while I was gone. <gasps> look at this lantern. Okay. And the hanging plant next to it. Ooh. Poor Huck. I could sense just how much he'd bonded with Cedar in such a short time. What's the beauty of the bond between horse and human? No matter who you are, where you come from. Uh, I'm getting lost. Um, where was I? Where you come from? Or what you believe in? Anyone can find their best friend in a horse. Good. Okay. People on this island got a different way of describing it. Aiden's gift. Finding your soulmate. But in the end, uh, where am I going? It boils down to the same thing. Developing an unbreakable bond between horse and rider. Okay. When he speaks, we slow down. So Gary, stop nattering. Uh, and let us let us run. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure the stone's gonna fall down again. I hope not. That would be really inconvenient. Oh good. We did it. We did it. Oh, maybe not. Uh, yes, yes, good, 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 perfect, he's been stopped in his tracks, alright, uh, we got away, Cedar is well and truly out of the clutches of Scott Buttergood, that Josh was a good kid helping out like that, couldn't have done it without him, You're, you too Olivia will make a great team. We're finally back in the safety of the wild woods. The sentinel will see that the horses come to no harm here. It's okay, Cedar. You're safe now. Let's get you back to your herd. All right, come on then, everybody. I think everyone's following me still. Yeah. Uh, mind the mind the stones. <laughs> uh, okay. And here we go. Oh, Willow, lie down. I like Willow. She's very gentle. Cedar. Oh, it's Juniper. Look at the beautiful flowers. Oh my gosh. I love Juniper. Uh, Cedar, what a delight to have you back in the wild woods, my friend. I'm so sorry that your time in the grey world didn't work out. Oh, Juniper. Am I glad to be back? Things are great on the outside till Huck got the news he had to leave Jorvik. Then I fell into the hands of a bad man and everything went wrong. I'm going to stay right here in the safety of the wild woods until Huck can come back to Jorvik again. That's an excellent idea. Any Jorvik uh, world that heads out into the grey world is always welcome back to Tail Top Village. Oh, look at them yawning. I also love, look at the little nose. Uh, now, why don't we celebrate your return with a relaxing trip to the polished hoof, my treat. And I think the polished hoof is the spa that Juniper runs. Welcome back, warrior. Did you have a totally epic time in the grey world? Humans are stranger creatures. They gather in tiny crowd settlements and bricker them, bricker and bicker about themselves all the time. I can't imagine yes. living like that. Whoa, that sounds incredible. I can't wait to be part of that world. It's a brutal place, Squirt. There's no herd to have your back. It's every horse for themselves. Gary's the only grey wolder with a twig of sense. I guess Olivia helped too. Yes, thank you, Ash. We did do most of that work. <laughs> all right, let's see what Gary has to say. You truly are a friend of horses olivia all right so we're gonna end that there Whoa, that was a busy a busy quest um run they got us running all over the map we went all the way to starshine ranch and back also what are these new map icons daily exchange quest is that a new thing i didn't know that they were okay well, let's turn it off for now we'll have to explore that another time I do not know what they are, I have to look them up. Alright, so I took a break from recording, came back, and now it's dark in Star Stable because it's getting pretty late uh, where I am. 
Uh, oh well, that's fine. But you can still talk to Gary. Gary Gold too. What a day it's been. Thanks for coming along to rescue Cedar, Green Eye and Olivia. How will I ever repay you? Talk to Gary. Yes. Oh my gosh, should we get some boots and 300 yolk shillings. Oh, look at him. Uh, I suppose you've got a lot of questions for me. The least I can do is answer them. Not many folks know I live way out here in the wild woods. I keep to myself, just how I like it. The herds and the animals of the forest are good enough company for me. What would you like to know? Wow, um, what do you do out here? Oh, I own wild woods. We know what he does. He helps the, uh, the horses, the mystical Jorvik horses, go out and find an owner. A forever owner in the grey world, the outsider world. How long have you been out here? Let's ask that one. How long is a piece of string? Ha! The wild woods and I go way back. I was, uh, I was always drawn to the legends of the wild woods in my younger days, so it only felt like a matter of time before I settled down here for good. So to answer your question, I've been here a very long time. Uh, why are you in here? What do you do out here? Well, the wild woods, the only place I feel truly free, where I can be myself and do what I love, caring for the horses and creatures of the forest. The forest does a good enough job keeping humans out, being all overgrown and obscure, but it gives me peace of mind to be around in case someone does sneak in, like yourself. And let's ask him, uh, why are we here? Now that is a good question. Simply put, the wild woods called for me. Since I was a young lad, I've always felt a connection to nature, the forest, the horses, Aideen's gift or whispering, or wild whispering, whatever you want to call it. I felt drawn to the, wild, uh, to the wildest, most untamed parts of Jorvik. That's it, we've done all the questions now. The wild woods may be my home, but there's one place I won't go near, the sentinel tree. I get the strangest taste in my mouth around there, sickly, like cotton candy. Despite this, something tells me the wild woods wouldn't be the way it is without whatever influence has taken over that tree. It's like there's a balance of sorts. I still remember my first venture into the wild woods. I was a part of a search party, trying to find a woman who had disappeared some years before. We never did find her, but I found peace in that long ago, when I settled down here. Searching for that lost explorer may have brought me to the wild woods, but the magic of the forest and the wonder of the Jorvik wild herd is what made me stay. Alright, I think that might finish the quest with Gary Goldtooth. Mm. Thanks for hearing an old man out. Here, take this. You'll find more use in it than I ever will. Take care, Olivia and Green Eye. And we got the really cool boots and the money, so that's really good. That's boosted my money. Let's put these boots, ah, we can't see them because I'm wearing, okay, let's put these pants on for now. Ooh. Ooh, I really like those. I, oh, look at the chain. I really like those. Nice. Uh, should we keep them on? Uh, no, these, these better go with that outfit. But we'll take those back to our storage place. All right, I think that might be it for today. Um, because we finished the Gaggle Tooth uh, one, and now we only have two quests uh, left. We have one proper quest in Wildwood, which I think carries on with Willow. Uh, Willow and the Warrior Herd. So let's run up there. We won't do it today. We'll do it another time. We'll end the episode here. But we can run up to Willow for next time. Um, and then we have a another quest. Oh, I can't believe that Green Eye just made that jump. Uh, I wasn't looking where I was going, and we just wandered off the edge of something, but it looks like we're actually going the right way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, oh, Will is moved down here now. Ooh, and there's a lovely, beautiful owl above her. Wow. Uh, yeah, she's moved down here. That's alright. We'll wait. We'll wait here uh, next time to chat to her. Um, but. I was saying, oh yeah, Redwood Point. We have to do another quest at Redwood Point over here. And it looks like we have one in Mistfall, so we might as well make our way down to Mistfall. And then we might start venturing back out into the 
other world, the grey world as the uh, foresters call it. It would be sad to leave the forest. I love the forest. I could literally just stay here forever doing the quest. I don't want to go into the towns and cities. We're going to have to change horses, definitely. Get some of the city horses out and some more proper tack. Uh, less of the, uh, the green flowery plant tack when we go into the towns but that is it for it uh, that is everything today um i will see you guys in the next video hopefully please a like please subscribe and please comment uh in my videos if you want to see anything in the game if you want to see any of the horses if you want to see me play different games and not just star stable games you can also comment that so um goodbye guys i hope you enjoyed this video let's take the map off Bye. <laughs> Did you hear the echo? Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, there's an echo. <gasps> That's amazing. <gasps> I love that.